Hi all and welcome back to Hubs Reef. In today's video I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to make balling solutions using Blue Tang's Blue Tang Marine in the UK's KH Buffer and Calcium and Coral Essentials Coral Power Traits A, B and C. Now I've done balling for quite a while and um, I've come to the end of my trace elements so I've decided to pick up the Coral Power Trace A, B and C. Now I've been using Grow and Amino for quite a while, some great results. So it'll be quite interesting to um, move over to the, start to move over to the, the more of the Coral Essentials range. So without further ado, I'm gonna make some KH solution and some calcium solution. Now with this recipe that I'm doing here, I will put in the comment section down below or in the description of how much per, how many mil raises, how many ppm or how many dkh per 100 litres. First of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up the KH solution. So what I've got is I've got a tub of just RODI water here. Uh, this is just under a litre, so I'm going to do a litre today just to go through it, but I make probably about eight litres at a time. So I've got just under a litre here, so what we're going to do is we're going to add 100 grams of the KH buffer into that's about 800 ml. We're going to mix that up till it goes clear, and then we're going to add the rest of the water, the rest of the litre back into this. And then what goes into here is Coral Power Trace C, and that's two ml of this. Obviously, it's got a pipette which works out to be 40 drops. Um, so, what we'll do. This water's been warmed up, so I filled this with water and put it into a into the sink with warm water, make sure this is sealed completely so nothing gets in. Just it makes mixing the KH a lot easier. Now obviously I'm using a metal spoon, shouldn't really use a metal spoon, but I thought I can't find a plastic spoon anywhere. So just quickly dump all this in. So this is a hundred grams of Blue Tang Marine KH solution, KH powder, sorry. Just add all this in. We'll probably drop a little bit, but I'm sure we won't. Yeah, there you go. So that's all in there, so we'll put the lid back on and we'll give it a shake. Do is we'll just add the rest of the water to top it up to the one litre mark. That there. Give it another shake. You see, it'll take a few minutes to clear. Um, so while we're waiting for that, we'll put the drops of trace C, which is this one, power trace C. So it's 40 drops of this, or two mil, if you want to uh, measure out of the syringe, but it's probably gonna just be as easier to pop it into the pipette.
So there you go, there's 40 drops or two mil in with the pH buffer into a litre of our ODI water. Give that a good mix. Now you can do this in bigger batches if you, if you want, and then obviously if you do two litres, you double the amount, three litres, times about three, etc. Do is we just let that sit and dissolve. So while the KH solution is dissolving, settling, it's, it's getting there. Might the water might need warming up a bit again. I'll probably just run the hot tap in the sink and then just let that sit in there. That help it dissolve. Um, handy labels sent through from Blue Tang, which is really helpful. I'm going to put that on uh, on the dosing container. I should put a little C in there to remind me that it's a uh, power trace C that goes in with this one. So moving on to calcium. Again, label for the calcium one. And then we're going to put trace A and trace B in this container. So what I've done is I've weighed out 132, 132, 136. I'll confirm it down in the description. Grams of the calcium and to one litre of RODI. What I'm going to do is I've put less in there because we have displacement from the calcium and obviously the traces. So what we'll do is we'll put this in. Now you have to be careful with calcium because obviously if, you, if you've done this before, you'll, you'll know that it has an exothermic reaction and heats the water to quite, well, it's about 80, 90 degrees, I believe. I've measured it out before. So obviously I do a little bit at a time using a wooden spoon and a Pyrex glass jug therefore it won't melt it just in case so it takes quite a bit of stirring so what I'll do so I'm just sure I won't say anything and I'll fast forward this bit So we'll just let that settle. Top it back up to the one litre mark with some RODI water, which will help it dissolve a bit better. And then same again with as we did with the alk. Instead of putting trace 40 drops of trace C in there, we put 40 drops of drops. Of trace A and 40 drops of trace B or 2 mil of each. So we'll do A first. Say done.
then give that a mix. As you can see, there's obviously a bit of discoloration in there. That's just from the traces. All the calcium powder flakes have dis dissolved. And there you have it. So one litre of calcium which can be so essentially what you've got is you've got your KH and you've got your calcium and you dose these in equal amounts which basically works out the same every 3.1 mil of KH solution raises your DKH by 0 0.1 in 100 litres and the calcium I believe is I've worked out the maths in my head for every three mil of your calcium solution will raise your calcium by one ppm in 100 litres. So you can actually dose these in equal amounts, work out your KH usage. On average, if your system's balanced, for every 0.1 dKH you'll use, you use about one ppm in 100 litres of calcium. So if you've got 100 litres and you use 0.1 dKH a day, you know that it will take 3.1 mil of each solution to keep it balanced. So it's pretty simple really. I will leave description down below the actual calculations of the dosage amounts. Um, I'll also leave some links to the Coral Essentials website and also um, Blue Tang Marine in the UK. They distribute Coral Essentials and they're a buffer for their calcium powders. I've not done magnesium today because we don't put any traces in magnesium because your system doesn't really use a lot of magnesium. I do have some magnesium uh, balling solution but that lasts forever um, as you can imagine. But I just wanted to do this video just to show you that you can use the trace elements without, because generally speaking on the bottle it says dosage is two drops per 100 litres per day. So obviously that's, that's just lots of guess. Um, a bit, a bit of a bit of guesswork on what um, obviously they've done the scientific background behind it to work out how much per system but adding it into balling solutions makes it so much easier you don't have to remember to do the drops every day um, and keeps your keeps your tank nice and stable so thanks for watching if you've got any questions by all means just drop it down in the comment section below um, I will get back to each and every one of you if you want to replicate this and you're not sure on how obviously you're not sure how much your system uses or anything like that just drop me a message um, and I'll talk you through it um, if not pop on to the Coral Essential support group page on Facebook great set of people on there anyone will get back to you pretty quickly on that um, you've also got the Facebook group that I run which is called Reefing Chatter and ask anything in there uh, by all means join uh, it's a nice friendly group um, and you've also got Hubs Reef on Facebook, our page on Facebook. I'll leave some links down below and Instagram. So any questions, just ask. Um, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Before, but before I go, if you've liked the video, just press the thumbs up. Uh, click subscribe, click the bell so you get notifications. I'm hoping this weekend I should be able to get a video out of an update on the main tank behind me. Uh, we've also got an update, uh, more first update, on the budget reef, which is across the room. Uh, it's doing really well. Um, but until then, I'll see you on the next video. Happy reefing.